Hey there, David Chinelli here, Realtor with Royal LePage Signature. Stage is quarter day. My favorite day. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited for you know to present to you another Stagers Corner from a Stagers point of view. I'm obviously David Chinelli. I think I already mentioned that from Royal LePage Signature. This is my lovely wife. Natalie <laughs> from Spaces. I never have to say my name. He says my name and then all of a sudden I get a look to say my name. <laughs> okay, so this is my wife Natalie from, Sta from Spaces Collective. Okay, Nat, are you able to mix and match stages, sorry, styles uh, when you go to a home or is it supposed to be the same? Um, so that's a pretty loaded question. Um, one, I would say yes. Yes to what? Yes, you can mix styles. Okay. You never really want to do a, whether it's stage or design, you don't want to look like you're walking into like a catalog from one particular place. Um, you want things to have like a little bit of, of life and a little bit of, a little bit of personality. So, you know, if somebody's already got some existing elements, it is possible to add to those things. You don't want to walk into a place and just kind of put, you know, uh, I don't even want to say styles, I want to say themes more than styles. Um, you know, where you don't want to walk in and be like, okay, well, nobody really lives here, this is clearly staged. The more personality you can kind of inject, but still trying to remain as neutral as possible, um, better it is. So more people can envision themselves living in the place. Um, I think something we've mentioned before in Stager's Corner is casting the widest net. And you want to do that with you know, a lot of neutrals and, and things like that, but you also don't want to be so prescribed that it looks like every single other house out there, mm -hmm. which is very easy to do when you're when you're working within like the same thing. The funny thing is, I think that's the first time you can probably mention something like adding to something as opposed to, you know, most of the time we're doing, we're, we're I can't say we, but you're, you're uh, staging homes, which I know a little bit about too. We're not usually adding things in, but there are some certain elements you can add. That's a funny thing. That's yeah. that's a, one of the first times I've heard her say actually add something to it. Well, here's the thing. You know, sometimes you walk into a home and it's got some great vintage pieces, and homeowners are sometimes a little bit skeptical of adding in some modern pieces to complement the vintage. It's such a great look to com to combine those things. Listen, it doesn't work all the time, and it has to be the right pieces. But um, not being scared to kind of mix, let's say, modern and vintage with each other. I think that adds a whole level of depth to to a design and, and to a staging job. But I think you know, one of the things that we've mentioned before is also knowing your demographic, right? Like, I know that maybe our parents' generation or you know even older, they always think that, oh no, this piece, it has to come as a set. And when you bring in other elements, you just see their face kind of like, right. just wow, it's like a freak. Or somebody like, uh, knowing the demographic you're going for, somebody who's maybe at different age groups, I don't want to you know, actually paint which age groups, they do recognize that you can add different elements. It doesn't all have to be exactly the same matchy-matchy in -matchy mm -hmm. the whole place. So knowing your demographic and then working with your demographic is a big piece of the puzzle as well. Yep, absolutely. All right, thank you so much. Great tip. Thanks. Surprise. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, you can always reach out. You can DM me, call or text me. Um, you know you know all my information if you're watching this because it's on my channels. Uh, but for you again, how do they reach out uh, to you? You can DM us at spaces.collective. On Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, that's their go-to is Instagram. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.